Hello YouTube, this is a Satsu 5 and I'm going to have to look at um, the, the date of my last video on the Rum Diaries. Um, but let's just say it's been here for several weeks. thought I'd try it. Uh, last time I had you here, I added some rum. Not rum, but vanilla. And let's see, we'll, I think we'll just kind of try it out. Um, I don't know if it's just the glass, but it looks a little bit darker to me. And um, as you can see, I got a setup here. Uh, I'm going to filter the remaining rum in here into this jar and then eventually put it back in the bottle. But uh, uh, I'm going to cut film and do that, and then we'll turn the camera back on. Yeah, it tastes a little bit of vanilla. Um, it doesn't seem to have as much of an alcohol um, punch to it. Still has kind of that smoky uh, flavor to it, which I'm not the biggest fan of the smoke. So, uh, but I think I've kept this rum in here uh, long enough. I'm ready to, you know, start the Scotch Diaries. So, uh, we're going to cut film, I'm going to filter it. And um, want to see if the filtering does anything, if it takes out any sediment or anything like that. So go ahead, cut the film. You can cut film. Hello, YouTube. Back. Just got finished filtering the rum. And this is the, you know, pretty much the brand new rum from the bottle. This is what it looked like, very clear. And um, then after a week, I think this is the second week, I um, bottled it in this small bottle, just a little sample. And you can see it's more of a kind of a golden color. And this is the final product, which I'm not too happy with. Uh, if I knew a little bit more about aging and stuff, I probably could have done a better job. But you can see the cuddle change from right out of the bottle, second week, to uh, I guess this is the third week. It's really, really dark. That has a little bit of uh, vanilla added to it, so that's probably where the cuddle's coming from with the uh, charred oak. But um, it was not like a. I was hoping to create something like Bacardi Oak Halt, which is a very good run. And I think I failed doing that. And I'm just gonna, you know, I just tasted this, so I think I'm gonna taste this stuff. I'm gonna put this back in this bottle. Um, I think I like the stuff brand new from the bottle battle. Uh, if anything, I kind of ruined the rum. Uh, maybe if I. Um, this was a new oak barrel. Uh, this wasn't aged with anything like um, bourbon um, or I had the, uh, well my mom had the idea of aging it with a uh, Mexican vanilla and uh, I might do that before I put the scotch in because I really like Mexican vanilla so a vanilla scotch might be interesting but um, in all honest, honestly I think I liked the uh, original non-aged rum better than what came out of this uh, uh, what you call it this bot oh this uh, oak barrel something else I want to point out in my videos was the only time I ever sampled this uh, rum and you can see I have this this and this obviously if you were to dump this this and this back into this bottle it'll probably come up to here and I lost a lot of liquid or volume and uh, that's called the angel shell. Anytime you age um, in a barrel, uh, it's very porous uh, and uh, vapor leaves the oak barrel and you actually lose volume of whatever you put in there. It's called the angel shell because it evaporates and goes up. So I just wanted to point that out. Uh, let's look at the filter just to see if we got anything. Uh, you can see there's a little bit of sediment and stuff in there also I don't know I don't think that's necessarily going to make this any better but um, 
Yeah, um, I think I'm gonna um, put some vanilla in here, age it for a couple of days, pour the vanilla out, and then put the scotch in. So that's it. I hope you have a great day. I'm a Saucy Five and I'm out.